Chris here, Fiber Finish. Welcome back to another Fast Fiberglass Fact. Today, we're going to be making bog or peanut butter, depending on which fiberglass forum you've been listening to. Essentially, what it's going to consist of is your choice of resin, which today we're going to be using polyester resin. We're going to be using a mixing cup, whether it be an ice cream container, a bucket, a cup, no matter what. Obviously, you need to mix it up to the volume that you're going to use. We're going to be using talcum powder, which is the cheapest, quickest, easiest way to make a bog. Now guys, this is not for fairing, so we do not want to use this as a bog to fair and make it look smick, alright? It is an absolute nightmare. This is also something that is not good if you're going to be using under the water line on the outside of your boat. It's talcum powder. It's going to absorb water if it is penetrated. So, Today, we're going to be mixing up this bog, we're going to be mixing it to a consistency that essentially we can turn this cup upside down, nothing will fall out, and then I'll quickly show you how to cove it into uh, an imaginary stringer or area, which of course, why wouldn't we be using the one and only Thermalite board? Okay, so we've got our cup, as I said, it can be anything you want, we're going to use a clear mixing cup so you can see the process. The way that I like to do it, because it's usually just the safest way of doing it, is a one-to-one -one mix. So what I'm gonna do is gonna put in this mixing cup here, uh, 150, I think should be a good little sample. Of talcum powder. Now this is industrial talc or industrial chalk. Um, you can, if you wanna mix up a very small amount, because obviously it can be a little bit dearer, is use some baby powder or something like that. Now, we've got our talc in there. Um, we have our, as I said, we're gonna use polyester resin. Um, I'm going to put this polyester resin in uh, at one to one, so I'm gonna take this up to the, technically up to the 300 mil, uh, but because we do this by weight, guys, 300 mil is not 300 grams, okay? So it's gonna fall just short, but that's okay. We're gonna now go our mixing stick, we're gonna give it a stir. Now what you'll find is if you put the talc in over the top, it can take a little bit harder to mix, it'll create a lot more dust, where if you put the resin in over the top, it sort of seals it, all right? Now, a few things. This particular method is good because we can get a different consistency of bog. So the bog I'm gonna show you today is gonna to be the sort of the really peanut buttery version that as I said, you can turn the cup upside down, it won't fall on you, all right? So if you want something that's a little bit more runnier, something you can like put through a, a corking um, pipe or something like that, that's fine. Uh, but as you can see, we've now turned this into a, uh, a paste that is a lot thicker than the resin. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our uh, talc to get our consistency. Remembering that there is still only 150 grams of resin. Very, very crucial. So we'll give that a stir. As you can see, it starts to really stiffen up and turn into a paste. So glad that worked. That doesn't fall down. So what's that good for? Stuff that's overhead. What it also means is if you put it somewhere, it's gonna stay. That's the beauty of this bog, okay? Now, why is it called peanut butter? Because we're gonna harden this in a second, and once it dries, it's brown, like peanut butter. Now, if we put too much talc in, I'm gonna demonstrate that, why not? I've got talc. Remembering, we still have the same amount of resin in there. So if we continue to stir this, and it gets to something that, now not workable, it's too dry, it's disgusting, weigh out some more resin, another 20, 50 grams, whatever you're happy with, and pour that back in. Okay, so we've added a little bit more resin, um, 50 grams to be precise, because I did bomb it with the talc a fair bit, but now we've got it back to our uh, good peanut butter consistency bog. Super simple, this would be approximately 500 grams at the moment. We only have 200 grams of resin in the actual mix, so we're hardening to 200 grams, 
at 1% or two if you're super confident and you're not doing a really, really big mix. So at 1%, we're gonna use our uh, catalyst dispenser here, which once again, we'll do a whole nother video just on this for you guys. We're gonna do this at two mil. So we're gonna set our little Set it up to two mil. We're gonna put our catalyst in. We're gonna pour him in nice and safe. And then we're gonna give this a stir. So we're gonna make sure we get all the edges. Cause we're gonna make sure this whole product is catalyzed. So what we're gonna do is real quickly on this thermal, I'm gonna show if this was a stringer or a bulkhead or something that was already um, used this product or a Cabasil product in to the hull or the areas going into. Uh, we can do this with a bog applicator uh, if you're using a bigger cup. But what I'm gonna show you is sort of a messy way, but it's still gonna work. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna put that in where we need it. All right, we can have excess here. Okay, and then using the ideal radius that we want. So for example, we're gonna use this nice little um, paddle pop stick here, otherwise you can cut a bit of timber, a bit of plastic or something to the radius you want. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna drag it. Well, there you have it. That is the super quick way to do peanut butter bog. Okay, so your choice of resin, whether it's polyester, vinyl ester, waxed or unwaxed, different horses for different courses, and we're gonna go over that in a whole separate video. I'm really looking forward to that one. Guys, the things you need to remember, how much resin did you put in? Because that's the crucial one, not the overall weight, how much resin went in. Once you add a filler to your resin, the cure time, or the working time, sorry, speeds up. So remember, if you're getting 45 to 60 minutes out of your resin, as soon as you put the talcum powder in, it's gonna speed up. Uh, this particular product, super good for your coves, super good for putting in stringers, doesn't have the strength capabilities of, say, your fume silica, but for the price, how easy it is to do, and how quick it is to make, you can't go past it for these sort of applications. Stay tuned for more. If you've got any questions, definitely hit us up. Thanks very much.